Hey guys, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions, and this is simply a video on how to implement a jumping character in your Unity project, okay? So, if you're trying to make a game like Geometry Dash, or even Flappy Bird, I'll get into the Flappy Bird section as well in this video, you can simply do it, and thankfully the code is not too hard to implement, okay? So, hopefully this video will be easy to follow along, and with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm starting with a brand new project, and I already have my assets implemented though, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started by setting up a canvas. So, I'm gonna go to my higher RT right now. I'm gonna right-click, and I'm gonna go UI, and look for the option Canvas. Here, we're gonna go ahead, go to our Inspector tab, and we're gonna go change our render mode to Screen Space Dash Camera. From here, you'll see a box that says render camera and right now it says none. I'm gonna fix that by if you notice right now we have a small rectangle followed by a massive rectangle on the top right. So in order to rectify this let's go ahead and drag in our main camera from the hierarchy tab and then drag it straight to the box here and that should make it disappear okay. Now we're gonna directly drag our assets onto the view so Let's first drag in our bird. You will also see it pop up automatically in the hierarchy tab. You can choose to rename it if you want to, but it, it's not really going to matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and get straight to resizing it. And let's go ahead and now lastly drag our other asset, which is at the ground, okay? So this picture will represent the ground. I'm going to go do this just to make that look like, just so it looks like the ground that the bird has to hit when it jumps or when it also flies, I guess. Now, like I said before, I will show you how to do the Flappy Bird style jump or, or, or the Geometry style jump. Whatever, whichever, you want, whichever one you want to do, they will both be shown in this video. So let's go ahead and show you how the game might look like at first. So I'm going to switch to a tab game to see the point of view from our player. And as you can see, the bird is kind of blending in with the background. So this is, this is actually optional. This part is optional. But for me, I want to make the color black. Just like in the example in the beginning of the video, you saw it was black. Now it looks like the bird sticks out, unlike blending in the background like earlier. But yeah, so I think I should make this a little smaller actually, if I'm being honest. I prefer it a little smaller. Because I think it was- I, I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was a little too big at first. See, that looks much better. Okay. So now, we have to now create ourselves a script okay so to do this I'm gonna go go to my bird I'm gonna select it I'm gonna add a component oops okay so if you add a component in this is the how it should look the first time you'll have all these options over here to add um, but the first thing you want to do is create a new script so that's the very bottom it should say new script so click on it and now we can call this let's see uh, bird jump Call it whatever you fancy, it doesn't really matter, You can it can be anything you want, but I'm gonna go create an ad. And that should auto-generate the script, that's the file, right here. So we can access the script by either clicking on this, or clicking on the script right here. We can access the script either way. You can see the contents of the script if you click on the script and the assets folder, and look at the very right over here under Inspector. Right now it's a brand new script, so obviously there's nothing, not nothing even in the start method or the update method. Alright, but before we do any programming though, so don't worry about the coding for now. We want to first add a few few more components to the bird and the ground objects, okay? So go back to add component and we're gonna add two things. We want a rigid body 2D and we want a box collider 2D, okay? Because we're working on a 2D project, alright? So I'm gonna first search up a box collider. Now, since, like I said earlier, we are working with a 2D project, so choose Box Collider 2D. And then add in a rigid body, and you guessed it, rigid body 2D as well. And for the bird, we don't have to do anything, okay? The gravity scale, we'll leave it like this because we want it to fall down to the ground, alright? Because if we remove the gravity scale and set it to zero, it will not fall. We'll just literally just stay right there, it won't even fall. Now, we have already done, we have added those components for the bird, but 
we haven't yet added one for the ground, so I'm gonna click on the ground in the hierarchy and add in another rigid body 2D for the ground, and we also want a box collider. Okay. Uh, just making sure I got it down. Okay, good. So, for the ground though... Oops, I'm sorry, I accidentally pressed it to edit. Alright, so for the ground, what we want... Because let me go ahead and play the game right now and show you how it looks like. So right now, that is... We don't want that, alright? What we want is the ground to remain stationary. Well, thankfully, it's a very easy fix. All you gotta do is go to the rigid body 2D, go to body type, and simply change that to static. Alright? So I'm gonna command S to save, and I'm gonna play again. And there you go, that should be better. Now, now the ball, not the ball, the bird has been falling. But what we want is that the bird will jump when we click on it. So, so far we haven't yet coded that to happen. So I'm gonna click stop. And let's go ahead and now here is where the script comes in handy. So let's go ahead and click the script. And now is the time we start programming. So we're gonna be using C sharp for this. Alright, so it's going to open a Visual Studio. Now, like I said before, usually it'll be for the majority of you... Oops, it's an update. For the majority of viewers right now, you'll probably be using Visual Studio, but in some cases it can be mono-developed, so don't worry which editor you're using, because we'll, you'll just have to apply the same code anyway. So let's go ahead and create a float. And we can set the value, the initial value to maybe 400. And we also want to add reference to the rigid body 2D. Maybe call this RB2D for short. And for the start method, it says what the start does over here, by the way. These comments, uh, C sharp simply ignores them. It's just for the programmer to know what each code does. I'm going to type in RB2D. I'm going to zoom in a lot just for people with small screens. Um, RB2D equals, we're going to do get component. And this is set rigid body 2D. And we want to add in two uh, open bracket and close bracket, or you can say parentheses, whatever you want to call it. And then end up with a semicolon. Semicolon is pretty much the full stop to a sentence in C sharp, all right? So we don't have to worry about anything in, in start now. Well, let's go ahead and add in our code for the update, all right? So now we can actually code for what we want when to make the bird jump. So this is gonna be an if statement. So if inputs, this is what will take care of, of the person touching the screen to make a jump. Input that get mouse button down. And this will be a zero. And now we can add in RB2D, so what we ever called our rigid body 2D when we declared it. Uh, dot velocity equals, and since we're working with 2D, it'll be vector 2. So don't do vector 3 or vector 4, do vector 2. Dot zero. And then, oops, RB2D dot add force. And then they're gonna, um, take care of this new vector 2 and then we'll have a template for the x and y so 0 for the x since we are we are manipulating the y axis we don't want to manipulate the x axis at all let's do up force which is what we called our float okay oh we we're miss we're also missing a um, extra close parenthesis there we go so that error should be gone once you've updated. So let's go back and test it out. So I'm gonna play. All right, so right now we have coded our bird to jump, but keep in mind, this is for Flappy Bird, okay? So it's gonna hit the ground and we can make it jump again. So if we are trying, if you um, want the Flappy Bird style, then feel free to click off the video right now. So I'm, cause right now, what we have done is we have coded the bird to jump, but we have not coded it like Geometry Dash, where it will only jump if we are on the ground. So right now, it can jump if we're in the air, 
So this is good if you're trying to make a Flappy Bird clone, but if you want to make a geometry style type of game, then stay. But if you have achieved your what you want, which is a Flappy Bird style, then feel free to click off the video and hope I'm glad the video helped you out. But let's go ahead. So for the people here who are going to stick around for the geometry style, uh, geometry dash style type of game, feel free to continue on. All right. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go back to our script. And what we're going to do is make a Boolean. Now, Boolean is like kind of a variable that gives two outcomes it is either true or false okay so what we're gonna do is declare a boolean so bool and type it will say can jump and what we want to do is say false because right now our bird is in the air so it's not it hasn't even touched the ground yet so it's gonna initially start off with a false value okay so let's go ahead and get right into our update and what we want to do is be able to jump so we're going to do end end can jump equals equals true so if for the geometry style type of game geometry dash style we want to make sure that the mount it gets our mouse input and make sure that the boolean is set to true instead of false now the way we can do this because right now initially it is being set to false so the way we can change the value is through a collision, and the way to do this, we are going to use a built-in um, built-in function called onCollisionEnter2D. So do void um, onCollisionEnter2D right here. That should auto-generate this whole uh, statement right here. So you can do if collision, and we're gonna use a game object tag. For the strategy okay so equals equals leave the string blank for now but now we can uh, manipulate the value of the boolean so type can jump um equals true okay so what do we want to put in here well we are going to generate an entirely new tag all right so go back to your unity editor go to hierarchy and click on the ground and now here we're going to go to tag Right now it's just on tag, so I'm gonna click on that, click add tag. And what this is gonna do is it will find the if statement will find a when it's colliding, it will make sure the tag matches the name. So the tag that I'm gonna add in, so I'm gonna click this plus to add in a new tag. This will be called the ground. Um let's go ahead and copy this with command C because it is case sensitive, so we don't want to like risk accidentally making a typo when we type. So make sure that's added and then go back to ground again. And then on the drop down box, select the ground. And now we can go back to our visual uh, studio. And then what we're gonna do is copy and paste that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try out our jump. Uh, let's go click play. All right, so it is only able to, oh, we haven't actually, we haven't actually, we haven't actually yet done anything yet in this if statement. So what we're going to do is, because right now, look, let's go ahead and start. So right now, if we go in and jump, we cannot actually make sure it jumps when it's in the air. So the only thing we need to fix now is this. You can still jump even if we initially touch the ground. So the last thing we're going to do is go straight to our if statement. And what we have to do now is add in a value called can jump and this will be set to false again so it will continually loop between true and false all right so let's go ahead and test it out now that we have fixed that error so click play there we go so it's kind of like geometry dash now obviously you can mess around with the gravity scale if you want it to fall down faster let me go ahead and do that right now actually so click on the bird and you can obviously change the gravity scale, let's say 2, and let's test how fast it falls. There we go, it's much faster now. Now you can also mess around with the values. Let's go ahead and go to the, um, let's see, where's our script? Okay, go to our script. You can mess around with the values. Let's maybe do 600, perhaps. Let's play again. There we go, you can also see that it's jumping much higher. So now that is for the Geometry Dash style of jumping. So hopefully this video helped you out, and hopefully you've learned how to make 2D 
characters jump in unity, so you can clearly see it's not too difficult. We simply have a boolean that can keep track of when we touch the ground or not. Like I said before, the, bo the boolean is not necessary if you are only making Flappy Bird, okay? So, now I've covered both games on how to um, make the character function like on either game so hopefully this video helped you out and if you have any extra questions feel free to comment down below as always and i will see you soon Raphael out